All right, now I'm going to, I haven't cooked this baby. She just got finished drying. I'm getting ready to mix my paint that I will use for various details. I don't really use this jar much. I just use it to wet my brush and get the area wet. I'm gonna put three layers of paint on my lid palette. One of them is this Quinacridone Crimson number one. It's kind of a reddish pink color. And then another one is the Lip Nail Blush from Bountiful Baby. It's a premixed color. And that's kind of got a warm brick color in it. And then the last one is the Eyelid Purple. It's got the brick with a purpley mauve type of a coloring. And I'll take my paint from these layers when I work on her creases and details. Okay, so I'm going to put the paint back here. So for the lips, I'm going to use a very fine teeny weeny trimmed brush. This is a paintbrush I bought from Bountiful Baby and then I trimmed half the, the paint knit bristles off the tip. So it's a very fine tip. And then I have a fine filbert brush that's kind of rounded on the tip that I use to help blend the lip lining in with. So for her first layer of lips, I'm going to take a little bit of the purple mixed with a little bit of the pinky red mixed with a little bit of the regular lip nail blush color and kind of make a, a various color of mauve in the middle. And then on her lip, I'm going to outline the outline of her lip. And then I'm going to gently touch the paint and bring it down and pull it down towards the lip. I'm working one half at a time here. Rotate your head so it's in a position that is comfortable for you to work in. Be very careful on your lips not to make the paint go up over the top of the lips and onto the skin above it. You don't want your baby to look like she's been playing in grandma's makeup drawer. This is our under layer of paint, so we don't want it so dark that it can't have more layers on top. Okay, so my top layer is outlined. I'm just going to just touch it with the paint and that'll help kind of blurry blend the edge so it's not quite such a stiff, stiff line. I'm going to flip my head over so I can get to the bottom lip. grabbing and pulling at the same time, pulling it up towards the center of the lip. I'm using the paint that's on my brush to fill it into the back. And I'm going to go over this and kind of touch it just like I did on the top one to blend it so it doesn't look like a stiff, stiff line. I'm going to make a line kind of down the middle where the two lips meet so it can have some definition. And 
and then fold that down towards the top for the bottom lip. And I'm going to do it again from the opposite direction and pull the paint up towards the top lip. lip. Okay. So that's the first layer of lips. That's really added a lot of depth to her. I'm going to get into my paint drawer or my paintbrush drawer and then I'm going to get a long blender brush. These never touch the paint directly. They only blend on the on the kit itself. So now I'm going to do some dark purple all by itself right up the nostril. And I'm going to just touch this and go around in a circle to blend it in but smooth it out towards the edges to create the depth, depth up the nose. Okay, so that created some depth up the nose. Um, there's a couple of pieces that kind of came out towards the end, and I don't want those on there. Um, so I'm going to blend those out. And I'm going to go back to the lip color and create my first layer of creases around the outside of the nasal flange. And with a flat blending brush, you can touch that very carefully so it smooths out so it doesn't leave a big, big old crease. Again with this side. I want it to be there, but I don't want it to be so bright and stiff. Now with uh, the dark purple again, I'm going to go line the eyelid. This looks a little strange because you can see the actual itty bitty hair follicles still probably in their pores even though they're not in the pores maybe it's just the sunken paint just like it was on the top of the head but when I put new eyelashes in there they will not be there so we're going to start with the purple and the creases and then we're going to go with the red and the creases as well and I'm going to kind of not push it up but just angle it so that my brush is going up because I don't want this all over the bottom of the eyelid. I just want it over the top of the eyelid. And it creates some of that eyelid depth. Just using my blender brush and the extra paint on it to add whatever color there might be left over to the actual eyelids themselves. And I don't want to do too much because this baby's just got to wash. So I'm just going to go one more step and then I'm going to cook her. I'm going to do the dark purple again into the darkest, deepest parts of her um, ear canal. And then I'm going to use my long pointy brush to blend that. To look natural in there. And start to create the depth of the inner ear. These layers have to build up over time so we can't just wait till the end and do it all at once. I'm not going to emphasize these little creases too much because if I do, that will make her look really aged. So I'm not going to draw attention to that. Um, 
she has the inner part of her ear. I'll come fill these little grooves in later because um, they don't need to be as dark as the inside of the ear. And um, one more thing I'm going to do before we go is this under the chin crease with the dark purple. With my fat flat blender. And just kind of touch it and blend it down at the same time. I'm not wiping like this because that'll remove the paint. I'm just kind of smearing it and blending it out. I hope you're able to see that I just did that. It's hard to tell if I'm on the camera or not because the glare from the light. Okay, so there is the beginning phases of this baby's um, beginning details and her red wash. I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to have to put another wash. I try to compare them to my skin and it's almost, it's almost there. I might do something with yellow on the cooker and see what she looks like next. I think she probably will need a yellow. Um, but that's her for now.